Hello and welcome to another edition of Dr. Kevin's newsletter. And I'm Dr. Kevin. Uh, this month I want to talk to you about, first of all, a new offering I have, which is Dr. Kevin's Spiritual Power Hour. And you may say, what's a spiritual power hour? Well, a spiritual power hour, it's one hour that I have set aside about every week, week to 10 days, where I do a prayer, a meditation, and I do a talk of some kind. And then after that, it is uh, a healing meditation. And the healing can be experienced whether you are watching it live or if you're doing it as an on-demand event. I'm doing this as a way for people to have at least one of their daily spiritual practices a week checked off to put healing out into the world and in these anxious times get people to be more grounded and centered. I did my first one and it was called Get Off the Cross, We Need the Wood. The one that I have coming up next is May You Live in Interesting Times, which is an ancient Chinese curse. Uh, the power hours uh, are gonna be on different times and on different days to cover the people that I have in all sorts of different time zones to be able to tune into it live. And again, you can always do it by demand. The other thing I want to talk about is how do you thrive in these very challenging times? For those of you that are quarantined, you know, and I go into a much more of a, a list in surviving a toxic world, which is also a class on demand that I have. But for you guys right now, here's a few little things to do. First of all, get up and get dressed every day. If that's what you normally do is get dressed to go out, to be in the world, get up and get dressed every day. Getting up and getting dressed every day and setting your mind of, I am still in the world and part of the world. It may have been fun to stay in your pajamas at first or just to put on sweats, but as this thing has dragged on, after a while it goes from feeling like a treat to feeling like a prison uniform. You may say, oh, it's more comfortable, it's this, it's that, but mentally, you start to actually go a little downhill from that, unless that's what you wear every day. But if you're used to getting up, showering, shaving, whatever, do your daily routine as if you were still going to leave the house, even if you are trapped in your house. And then go forward as, okay, well, what is my work day today? Maybe you have a job that you can do from home, and so you're continuing to do it, or maybe you're one of those people that are laid off. And so if you currently aren't working, figure out what could be working. Maybe it is a list of things around the house. Maybe it's a list of things you would like to accomplish, things you'd like to learn. This is a great time to play with your creativity, satisfy your curiosity, get some kind of new uh, tool on your tool belt, uh, take a YouTube class. There's a lot of things out there, but structure it as a day. Go somewhere and have even a separate space, if you can, where you are not just wandering. Times like these, it's easy to get depressed, but if you set some little structures, if you do some little things and keep some kind of normalcy in your day as much as you can, it will be easier to continue to go through this. And this may not be our last round of this. And finally, in this uh, month's version, I wanted to talk about the new normal. What is the new normal going to be? When this is said and done, and they're saying everything from, oh, maybe it'll be done by the summer, maybe it will be done by the fall. If they don't come with a vaccine, it may not be done until 2022, that we have waves of this, where suddenly there's a whole new set of people that are contagious. We don't know what immunity is, but what we do know is the world is not going to go back 
to where it was. It's going to have to move forward. And what you have to be aware of is this is a time to decide what in the old normal didn't work for you. What now that you can stop and reflect and think about it, you have the ability to have anywhere from a little to a lot of influence of what your new normal can and will look like. What priorities did you realize had gotten lost along the way? Now's a good time to reset them, to decide what's really valuable in your life and to decide that you are actually really valuable in your life and to not just be moving on so much autopilot, so robotically, so pressurized that you forget who you are and what's important to you. For some people in this quarantine, they literally remembered what was important to them and others had to discover it because they actually didn't know. So those are some thoughts. Again, I will be doing a spiritual power hour uh, on this upcoming Thursday from when this newsletter is sent out. Uh, so if you open it, you can attend it live. It's from going to be from noon Eastern Standard Time from noon to one. Come in, do the meditation, hear the talk, and then get the healing afterwards. If you can't make it, you can always go back and you can still get it. And until next month, be well, stay healthy. Namaste.